Ask me what's the biggest problem in business today? Failure to execute. A failure to do what you say you will do. And I guarantee you, it's the Achilles heel in all businesses today. We talk, but we don't do. I was in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, almost a year ago. My son lives there for Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is the largest retail day of the year in the US. And the newspaper came in, it was this thick. It was always oh, huge. And I started looking at all the flyers that was inside. And I thought to myself, look at, look at how much choice a consumer has. So I took all the flyers, I put them on the desk, and I noticed they picked on one item. They picked on a DVD VCR combo. Walmart was at $89. Sears was $99. Circuit City was $109. Um, Best Buy was $119. Target was $125, whatever. And I thought to myself, I'm going to go out and see exactly what's going on in the marketplace. You learn a lot by observing. Went to the first store, Best Buy, sold out. Circuit City, sold out. Sears, sold out. Target, sold out. Fifth store we visited was Walmart. We pulled into the parking lot, and there was something peculiar about Walmart that day, because there was a 45-foot steak truck parked in front of the store. And that's peculiar, a white truck. I walked by the truck, looked inside, and I said, what's this truck doing here? He says, oh, it's all our specials. Ladies and gentlemen, I walked into a store. At 11.45, this is the picture I took. What I've always believed is that their number one strength is logistics. But when I saw this, I realized that it's not logistics is part of. If you want specific outcomes, you need specific actions. You know what their strength is? It's one word. It's called execution. Execution, execution. Now, you as a consultant, as an outsider, look at this example and say, how many people were involved in this? How many vendors were involved in this? How much coordination was involved in this? How much communication was involved in this? Everyone overpromised and underdelivered. Walmart became the largest business in the world today, a retailer, by execution, execution, execution. You're going to hear that a lot from me this afternoon. If you want specific outcomes, you need specific actions. But those are only words. Leadership is a verb. Consolidation is happening every day in every business. So if consolidation is happening, so you have to step back and look at your business realistically and say, well, who's in the driver's seat today? You know who's in the driver's seat today? Your customers are the most, have more choice and they have more power than they ever had. And we have to recognize that. And by recognizing that, we're proactive in our approach. Convergence is happening. Well, convergence is that somebody in the morning, they sell you a product in the afternoon, they're your competitor. So you have to ask yourself in your own business, as a broker or a lender, where do you want to play? Where do you want to park your business? And then finally, commoditizations happen. Commoditization, products and services are becoming a commodity. You know that better than I do. And if that's a fact of life, then you have to look at your business realistically and say, well, how does my cost structure stack up to who I'm competing about, competing against? And with value chain deconstruction, you can look at it two ways. You can look at it that the business growth that you've had, and it's been good for you, is going to change decon by deconstructing. But on the other side, when it deconstructs, somebody's going to pick up the pieces. And who's going to pick up the pieces? And who's going to form the new model? And who's going to be the one that's focused on the customer? Who's the one that's going to go looking where nobody else does? Who's the one that's going to be different in a marketplace where there's too much of everything? We're stressed at home. We're stressed at work. When's the last time you sat down and said, how do we make it easier for somebody to do business with us? Secondly, today, 53% of Wendy's business is drive-through. I'm going to repeat that. 53% of Wendy's business today is drive-through. Is that not a message to all of us? 
Let me ask you something. How many here have time to spare in their hands? Please put up your hands. Okay. If we ask that same question of your customers, what would the answer be? When's the last time you sat down? How do we save our customers time? Time is the currency of this decade. And if you look at trust, trust was number three 18 months ago. And after the Enron fiasco, the Tyco fiasco, it is now number one on the hit parade. People do business with people they trust. People do business with organizations that are trustworthy. Simplify, simplify, simplify. Because complexity alienates where simplicity invites. Joe's gets 75 cents. Starbucks gets 475. Where do you think the margin is? Now, it's an interesting example. Because where did Starbucks come from? You know, 10 years ago, they were an idea. Today, they have 6,600 stores, corporate stores. I was in New York speaking at a, at a franchise association conference. And the second speaker was from Starbucks. So I stuck, ar stuck around, listened to what he said. And the executive vice president just talked about how they grew from there to there. And here's exactly one of the points he made. I want to talk about it. He says, execution gives us the license to expand the brand. Execution gives us the license to expand the brand. See, he's talking my language. Because execution is not part of the strategy. Execution today, ladies and gentlemen, is the strategy. 